Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we've got another What's in the Box and this is part 40 of the series um, but what I'm going to first ask you to do is if you can cast your minds back to late January, early February it would have been the What's in the Box numbers 9 and 12 um, in number 9 I did ask you um, how you stored your coins and what I was actually planning on doing with mine. And I got some very nice uh, responses and various ways that everybody is actually storing their coins. Now in number 12 um, I did an update and what I've got on screen now is a couple of things that I did actually buy. These big blue presentation folders that I got from uh, Viking Direct. Now the, the reason that I, I opted for these was the Change Checker album that I did have is very very narrow and I've put a, this is the flips because that's what I've used, the flip page but when you've closed the album the flip page tends to stick out so I wanted something a little bit wider to enable all the flips to be enclosed um, actually these I've actually emptied all of the coins out of this change checker album because it was getting a bit too big hence the reason why I, I opted for flips uh, but in the back I've actually got some change checker cards I've got one Taylor of Gloucester I've got one representation of the people act a 2016 Peter Rabbit and I've actually got three Jeremy Fishers now, any time I've actually obtained anything from Change Checker and I've got a card, I usually give them away because I don't actually collect them. But if anybody wants any of these, um, just let me know and uh, I'll get them sent off to you. Um, I don't want any financial reward for them. As far as I'm concerned, if you need them, you can have them. So anyway, that is the Change Checker album. Like I said, it's, I've emptied it all out because the reason is... Um, I've done the big two folders. Now the first one, ooh, I'm going to show you, is quite big and I've customised them all. <laughs> so I've actually got the logo and uh, what these are. So the uh, UK decimal coins. Uh, these just include the half pences up to crowns. Now they're not all complete as you will see. So we'll start off, uh, these are the old half pences and the only one that I am missing is the 1972 but I do have it in a proof set so technically I do have it. Now uh, this is actually the covering of one of the flips and if you can remember I did say that it is a good way to put these in the album so you've got like the glossy side that's uh, usually attached to like the glue part of the flip but if you fold it back on itself and on the sort of less shiny side you can actually write on uh, what you need so I used that and it was easy for me to see what coins I still needed so that, the other half pences uh, one pences exactly the same I still need the 1972 uh, but I do have it already in a proof and all the way through and the two that I am missing are the 2018 and the 2019 which are only available in sets and the sets are going for absolutely astronomical prices so I doubt if I'll ever get them and I've got up to and include 2021 these are brilliant uncirculated ones because I got them from the annual sets I did get uh, two sets uh, we move on to the two pences Again, 1972, I do have it in proof, but the two years following, 73 and 74, they were also only in proof sets. And also 82, 83 and 84 were only in sets, but I do have 83, because if you have watched uh, one of the recent What's in the Boxes, I did have um, a Heinz set, but it only included seven coins and not eight, because the pound coin wasn't in. So um, I ripped the old one up, got the new set uh, that did include the pound coin and that is in part of my collection so I still need 82 and 84 uh, now move forward everything I do have and then we get into the later years 
27 9 for some reason. I still haven't seen one. Now, they are supposedly in circulated form, but I've never seen a 27 9. And again, 2018 2019 were only in sets. Um, moving forward to the five pences. Now, these are the largest style. Uh, so that started in 1968. Again, I've got the 72 in proof. 73 and 74 I'm missing, 76 I'm missing, 77 I've got that, uh, I've got plans for that, for getting that one. Um, again, 81 I don't have, in, that's in proof. 82 sets only, 84, 85 in sets only. In 96 I do have it in a brilliant, brilliant uncirculated set, but uh, I don't have any plans to rip that one apart. 1990 uh, sets only. Now there is, I think I've made a bit of an error because the, uh, there is a larger style. Uh, yes, that's, it is the 1990. The larger style 1990 coin is only available in sets, but I do have the 1990 in the smaller circulated version. Seven, uh, 1993, I do have that in proof. And again, 2018 was only in sets only. So I still have to get that one. Then we move on to... The 10 pences, and some of these, again, I've got uh, a few irons in the fire to get some of these missing proof coins. So 72, I do have, or like I say already, 78, proof only, 81, that was a circulated one, but I still haven't got it. Uh, 82, sets only, 84, 85 in sets only, 86, do have in brilliant and circulated, as I've already mentioned. And 87 is set only, and then quite a lot here as well. Uh, including some of the the larger style 1992 that was the last year of the large style 10 pence and then moved on to the smaller version uh, but you can see there the ones that i do have in proof or in uh, brilliant and circulated uh, 1998 was only set to only however i've got something on order which hopefully will arrive uh, by next week's what's in the box and Again, 1999 is a, a set only for the temp menses. 2018 and 2019. Now, these aren't the alphabet uh, coins. These are separate. The 2018 and 2019 of the uh, shale designs were only available in sets. Moving forward to the 20 pences. 86, I do have that in Brilliant Uncirculated. 2017 and 2018 only available in sets I don't have that one and we've got everything up to 2021 and oh, we're missing the 50 P's out because I've got something else for that one uh, move on to the old round pounds so there's 46 altogether that you can actually collect and I'm only missing uh, 4 now 1998 but as I said I've got something coming in the post for that one 1999 the Scottish Ramp and Lion again that was only in sets and then the only other two that I'm waiting for but uh, these again were just uh, available in bunk the 2015 Royal Shield and the 2016 Royal Shield both with the Jodie Clark portrait and right in the back after a couple of blank pages there we go i've just got a few uh crowns now i noticed uh paul Wil Win winston churchill one here from 1965 starting again to be torn so i don't know whether i should maybe see if i can clean that up somehow take it out and put a new flip in uh, I do have a 1977, but uh, I've, I've only got it in one of those little capsules. But uh, again, that'll be getting taken out and put into here as well. And for some reason, I've got uh, British Indian Ocean Territories <laughs> uh, crowned at the bottom. There's only 10,000 minted, and that one has the cutty sock on. So that is the first album to show you. Now, as well as getting the, uh, the those two blue ones, uh, because 
as I said, I've had that many in my albums. I went and got another two. Now the next one, I bought a red one. And again, customised it. And that's just the, uh, the world coins. Uh, as you can see, I don't really have that many, but uh, it's not uh, a case of having as many as you can, <laughs> even though it would be nice. Uh, so I've got them all in alphabetical order, starting with Australia. Now, Australia do have some uh, really nice designs on their coins, and I think the uh, platypus ones, they have been uh, on their coins for quite a few few years now. But, uh, so I've got a few, like Belgium. I mean, we've got some of the, uh, the old-style coinage and... Uh, the euros as well. So, as I said, I've got them all in alphabetical order: Germany, Ireland, Italy, Japan, etc. Um, all the way up to, and including, I think the last one I've got in here was Yugoslavia. So. Uh, yeah, Yugoslavia is the last one in there. But I do like um, the flip albums a lot, lot better than the change checker ones because these don't have obviously they don't have the lips on either, and it's easy to get the flips in and out of the plastic folders. All right, world coins. Next one we've got, probably the most expensive one, you'll probably say in a minute, UK Territories. Um, again, I've customised it. So I've got uh, the Jersey, Guernsey, uh, Gibraltar, Falklands and the Isle of Man coins. I know there's other uh, other UK Territories, but they're the, fine, uh, they're the five main ones. Um, but in the front of this one is uh, another territory. And it's the coin tube territory. So uh, I've got one from Bungle, Lady M. I've actually got two from Trev. And one from Dan Temple. Uh, there is a one from Grossi on the way. Uh, it's been nearly three weeks since I won one of his uh, giveaways. So that uh, still hasn't turned up yet. However, luckily just before I uh, started filming this, the postman arrived with a little packet. And inside here was this so uh, people don't realize it is the time bridge and it was during when the uh, great north run was taking part and obviously they've got the red arrows above and uh, this has actually come from coin of phrase two or two coin of phrase so he's put on a hi me hearty huge thank you for the half dozen trading cards as I said, if anybody wanted them, they can have them. And uh, there were six that uh, to coin a phrase didn't have, so I sent them. So he says, thanks for the half dozen trading cards and all round general help in being, becoming a coin tuber. I'm lagging behind in these, so that's the trading card, so it's a huge boost. Now, can you help me get around the Great North Run course next week? Oh, well done to Cap. I'm, uh, it's not something I've <laughs> ever wanted to do, but good luck to you. Uh, he said, P.S. At least it starts and ends in the promised land this year. Uh, he means Newcastle. Because um, it used to start there and end down near the coast, which is in uh, Sunderland Territory. Uh, he might not need to take a shower afterwards, Jackie Beggar. Keep up the amazing channel content, two coin of phrase. And uh, what he's actually sent me is one of his own signed Benjamin Bunnies, two coin of phrase. So I will be putting this in a flip as well. I'll just put it in a little pocket there for the moment. So I don't really have that many in the territory section. Uh, they're the only Falkland Island ones I have. And uh, these are from Gibraltar. Again, Gibraltar. And what I've done is I've put them in uh, denomination order and then in... Uh, date order as well uh, and on this side uh, Guernsey again oh, I haven't got many there's only seven 
seven there. And then the, the main ones I do have are Island Man. Got the, uh, the old Victory set there. And uh, what else did we get? Got a few of the locked in Rams. Got, in fact, I think I've got all of them. I don't, I don't know if it's been issued for 2021 yet, but I've got uh, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And uh, you've seen these that uh, I showed on one of the, I think it was last week's What's in the Box, with two pound coins. And in the back, we've got some jersey ones. So the white album is the one that I've got for the territories. Uh, incidentally, uh, I forgot to mention at the bottom of that one, that's uh, the penny that I wanted, the find a queue. And I've actually got three silver coins here. There's a silver sixpence from 1916. Uh, and two silver threepences from 1918 and from 1938. Uh, that one's half silver, the other two 0.925 silver. And the last, well, actually, before I actually move on to there, but there's other one, one other coin tuber um, that I'd like to mention who is going through a bit of a rough time at the minute, and uh, that is Purple Fairy. So rather than give this video a thumbs up what i'd like you to do in the comments is put a, a purple heart emoji to show purple fairy that we're all thinking of her and that we're all behind her and uh and hopefully everything will turn out for the best so show so, uh, some love to purple fairy by putting a purple heart in the, the comments you don't have to put any words in if you don't want to but i would prefer if you do put a purple heart in Right, last but not least, we've got the the album for the 50 pence and two pound coins. So we'll start with 1969, 71 proof only, 72 I've got in proof, 74 and 75 is only in proof, 84 is only in a set, 85 it's a low minted year but it did go into circulation but I still haven't, I haven't got that one, I do have it. In brilliant and certainly for 86. 87 is sets only, as was 88, 89, 90. There is a 91, it is behind there. The reason being because uh, 92, the large style 92, I still need that as well in a set, but I'm still, still a work in progress because I did get the uh, UK presidency one which has uh, gone into the 92 section. Uh, 83, uh, sorry, 93, I do have in proof. And quite a lot are still in the sets, 95, 96 and 97. That's the larger style. And then we move on to the uh, smaller style. Um, I do have a uh, 2010 Shield, which was uh, not intended for circulation. I did find that in the hunt. I think it was probably getting on for a, a year now. Um, but we still need 2009 and 11, and then we get into the uh, the commemoratives. 2016 shield I still need. 2018 shield I still need. That'll be quite. A, I think it'll be another mortgage. I think I need to take that one out. Uh, 2018 snowman. I haven't got that in the smaller version. I don't even have it in a the bunk pack either. Um. 2019, these, oh sorry, these 2019s, now these are the the reissue coins, now um, I do have them in the blue carded versions, and I had to buy them via the internet, they were, I think they were about £10 more when I got them, uh, that was £10 more than uh, what Change Checker was selling them for, but uh, obviously with the one including the Kew Gardens is actually rocketed in price, so trying to get them now is going to be sort of nigh on impossible. So I'm sort of in a quandary. Do I do I break the blue carded ones out or not? Uh, but the military set uh, you saw last week that I did buy a second set, and I've got I've actually got them in now. So it uh, completes another 
five spaces. Uh, the 2010 GB, I do have that in the annual set. And uh, the last one I've got there is the Team GB 2021. And of course, we've got the Winnie the Pooh coming out. Um, so I think mine's due to arrive sometime this week. And I've pre ordered the other two as well. So they will go in to there at some point. I've got a 1982 Britannia at the bottom. I think the reason was because I had a, a shiny one uh, which I've put into a flip and that was just a spare. And finally, we move on to the two pound coins starting from uh, 1986. So these seven here are the old style two pound coins. Uh, a few of them are in, in proof. So I've got the, uh, the Bill of Rights and the, the UEFA, the football one, they're both in proof. Uh, the others are just the standard circulated ones. Um, at the bottom, the Commonwealth ones. Uh, Scotland and Wales, if I just move a bit further up, Scotland and Wales I do have, but I've got them in the, the albums that uh, I do the coin hunts in, so at some point they'll be getting moved into there. Uh, got quite a few sets here, they're all complete. And then moving into the back, uh, now because I started coin collecting rather rather late, um, I still need the 2017 Aviation, the 2018 Britannia, the REF coins, and there's quite a few others. I haven't uh, actually got all the little tags in yet, but all the REF set I don't have, Frankenstein I don't have, um, I've got the DD Anniversary. So all of these spaces they will be filled up with the ones I don't have. I think one of them is the Armistice. Yeah, Armistice, I'd still need that one as well. That was the one that uh, North East Coins found in his hunt recently. And I think Bungle got one as well. And at the back, more up to date ones, 2020, Britannia. That's out of a uh, billion run circulated set. Uh, 21... The, the, and the most recent one I got was the um, Sir Walter Scott because I, I bought uh, the commemorative pack as well so not too bad I mean there's a lot of spaces um, but there is a few irons in the fire as I said so hopefully they'll be getting uh, filled up in the next few weeks or so um, so that's it. It was just uh, like I say an update on on the albums. Um, you don't like I said don't you don't want to leave a like. It's uh, a purple heart. You want to leave in the comments this week. So um, until next week, keep on hunting. Enjoy yourselves. Thumbs up for purple fairy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.